Hello friends, welcome back to Zack Anime Studios. Imagine you have a new computer and uh, your aim is that uh, I want to be a, a, the best web developer. So guys, if you have just tuned in right now, uh, before even we continue, hit that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is our first tutorial. So guys, it's going to be awesome, it's going to be fun. Uh, first and foremost, you need to go to google first uh, there are some of the most important applications you need to have in your system so i'm just going to take you through one you need to have exam uh, let's type uh, so guys you need to have exam exam yes you need to have exam secondly you need to have node I'm going to close the door. Okay, thanks. Uh, third, <laughs> uh, third, you need to have uh, the second one. You need to have node. This is not JS. I'm going to explain what it does in a minute. And then third, uh, you need to have you have exam. You have node. You need to have composer. Com composer. Composer. And then third, but uh, third. Uh, you need uh, third you need uh, you need uh, you have node you have composer you need visual studio code so you have code uh, let's just see you have exam node and then you need visual studio code now v show studio studio code okay so these are the most important softwares that you are going to use uh, during this development process so uh, in my PC I've already installed all of them you have already installed all of them uh, so first and foremost I have I'm going just to, uh, to but I'm going to show you how you do it uh, on example you go to Apache friends and then record uh, then download the latest version okay uh, you can go to uh, Apache friends and then just download the latest version okay this one this one this one this one the latest version 8.02 okay uh, Apache friends uh, and then download yeah this is the home page yeah? on the home page you download that and then you go to node node.js download the latest version 18 point that as you are watching it might be might be a higher version and then composer you also get to get composer you download it so composer is used to collect packages on the internet so collecting packages on the internet and then visual studio code this is your editor this is your eh? editor download that so i'm going to show you after i've installed it on my pc i've already installed all of this so i'm just going to, to, to type start exam run as administrator i normally run them as administrator so you can run them as administrator so that you have less uh, errors uh, so that you give it all the privileges secondly i'm going to start code okay code uh, you open that visual studio code that is a visual studio code and then last but not least uh, uh, you have the node and then you have the code so when you install exam you're going to start apache and then also you're going to start uh, my sql okay now uh, those are the main uh, softwares that you're going to need uh, they are very important they are crucial to you so we are going to install now uh, laravel globally on our system we are going to install laravel globally on our system so the main point is you're going to go to you're going to go to your browser and then just type laravel Lara, laravel home laravel 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 okay just go to laravel.com.co.ke so when you have that i just hit on documentation this is where you're going to get started with your feet to hand weight uh, uh, developing your web application so that is the first thing so uh, we're going to set it up in the pc so we have this uh, you have you have your editor running 
So what you're going to do, you're going to have, you need to be creative, a little bit creative. So um, just to explain on the aspect of, on the aspect of exam, this is the folder. So all your files and folders will reside on Explorer. You hit on Explorer. Uh, and then there's a magic folder called htdocs okay uh when you hit explorer it is going to open a folder called explorer give it a second to open oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness okay so it's going to uh, it's going to open explorer it is opening opening explorer so there's a folder <coughs> there's a folder called htdocs which are going to dive into it right away so this is uh, your c this is your c and then you have ht docs okay this is where your folders stay, reside okay inside here you will decide to create all your project for this all your project will reside them on ht docs okay so if you are creating a housing app a medical app you'll just have them inside here um to look that into perspective using the <coughs> the the explorer of visual studio code you're going to go to file open folder select ht docs okay and then just select that so we are going to start our introduction introduction app okay so you can see all my applications reside there but now i want to create my new application just type terminal type terminal and then on your terminal uh, uh, give it a second to open just type uh, so basically the the reason why i've done that i've already installed those packages but uh, you need to now set up laravel on your pc so going to the documentation you just go get it on windows so you're going to type uh, you're going to start uh, you're going to type uh, on windows on, on the windows you're going to type uh, composer global Compo Glo composer global require laravel installer you hit that and then you, you paste it on your terminal just see ht doc uh, but this is you're going you are installing composer on a global scale this is the reason why you have you installed get composer first so that it can pull those packages now we are pulling those packages to our, our project into our a computer environment so we are setting up uh, laravel on our global environment in our computer uh, that is you can see it is on c blah 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 rom composer that's that's where we're going to set it up and then that is uh that is like a starter kit of laravel in your pc the next bit is uh, we are going now to install a simple laravel application into our system uh, remember we have a exam it's already running exam is already running apache is running and then database so you can see also we have database running in the system our database is also running uh, as you can see if i hit admin it's going to open for us a database interface where all our database reside so that is where all our database reside you can just type localhost localhost and then hit enter so our apache is running hopefully we're not going to have any errors or anything so you can see apache is running that is localhost and then on localhost you can also just hit on php admin that is where the database reside okay all the the database functions and features reside on that global scale so without further ado uh, we have installed laravel just in our system in less than 10 minutes uh, we have all the requirements so in the next video we are going to to we are going to <coughs> we are going to the database also is running we are going now to start creating our first laravel application thank you so much continue watching us 
tune into this channel and be part of our community a lot more is yet to come that is a catchphrase of a friend of a friend uh, on other channels you will hear about him so guys uh, mad respect mad respect to you guys if you have watched us until this 10th minute and stay tuned on the next video we are going to set up laravel uh, a party is running uh, so it's still updating so some of the things is being updated you can just be patient i think also i think on the internet might be slow a little bit but we have we have those main features running on our our on our platform so uh we have that and then so we have uh, we have our application running if i may so guys in the next video we are going to start by uh, looking at the database looking at the database and then uh, getting started with uh, creating a simple laravel application so cheers and adios